bet here in game number one. DC, but instead, the is going to be matched up with that Marty Cora. His way through, something that Snoopy. Aggressive fight potential, but if the support was nice and pink as well. I am with their picks. They ban the Ola run and in. And Johnny's going to strength pick Thor, considering how powerful he's been. Johnny is on a brand new pick. We haven't seen Woo! it this weekend, but a little bit of action here. Good night inbound. A pull in from Kha'Zix. And it's there in the dual lane. Kha'Zix and Spudio waste no time. And wow. me now wasting no time. What a phenomenal chain CC. Julio dashing away on the King Arthur with his million and one buttons to press. me following up Julio, who's going to dash under tower. A pull back in. Again, Variety tried to pick this up a little bit earlier and did up. not look great. But oh. inbound, oh. falling for the second. Does want to continue pushing for that buff. And so they will at least find the fight on the right side as well though Kirmi's over here locked down by Johnny does not use the hammer to teleport away now stuck in this blue buff pit a little bit of a death bane there from Kirmi to knock down Johnny a little bit farther scary D doesn't have the final touches for the Thor who goes back into the fray Kirmi no mana no HP getting chased out by Julio but guess who has made the rotation it's Snoopy on the right hand side well, you got a replay here on this left-hand side. The replay mm. on to inbound falling for the second time. And you mentioned, is there a more mobile support? Maybe. You know, I'm thinking of like Ymir at some point. Sure. You're down 0-2, and, and you now want to play a little bit safer. You're down two levels early on in the support. But Scary D is the focus again. And with no mana to his name, Scary D is going to be juggled in the air, slammed down by Julio. And the King Arthur takes down the solo Sobek Hex Mambo off to... Just one of the worst things you can do in Smite. <laughs> Stall the lane out. Minions meet in the middle. You lose a little XP. Here comes Kirmi, though, blinking in on Spudio, who immediately hops on the horsey. Kirmi with the follow-up. Stun doesn't connect from Kha'Zix. Target has Whoa. turned, but here comes Johnny from out of nowhere with a double stun. One goes the way of Spudio. Landfall off the mark. Inbound, falling low, Johnny, no wall online. The double tap goes on to Stewart. Final shot from Johnny. The ADC falls, inbound, half HP under tower. And a one anticipated in any of the bloodshed on the map yet. But certainly coming online with that Divine Ruin. A knock up onto Johnny, a slam down from Kha'Zix. Rom snipes, raining down onto his engagement. Kirmi, the recipient of the apple, Spudio with the finishing touches. Taking down the jungler, Johnny. Electing not to continue the engagement. Have to be looking at, you know, what's Kha'Zix doing? Very similar. He's jumping in. He's got a little bit more movement, a little bit more safety naturally in the mount. You're definitely going to have an easier time focusing that, but you don't necessarily need Whoa. the additional damage to pick up the Gold Fury here. Goodness gracious, and it's going down quickly here at 14 minutes. Hex Mambo take down the Gold Fury with Neri at a big time group up from Hex Mambo to start up this objective. Cure me around the corner. Same thing goes for Inbound and Snoopy. They just have to look on in dismay there. As the like, what, what would be the ultimate? I would have to imagine it would be something it's be like, like popping toast Sylvanas or something. something. Yeah. Speaking of popping toast, Spudio hopping on the horsey, getting out of dodge here. Up into the air goes Rom. One snipe connects. Johnny up. Same thing goes for the second one. Johnny down to create space for Spudio. A well timed ultimate there from the jungler. Kirmi locked in the purple buff pit. Deathbane onto Johnny, who's forced to hammer away. But Kha'Zix. Wants to continue on the immobile inbound. Who gets locked down? Snoopy is in for mid lane. Up Good in pull. the air, raining down poison from above. The tick damage on Johnny not going to be enough to put the jungler in the ground. Same thing goes for Kirami and Snoopy between a rock and a hard place. Beads, Kha'Zix, down, Hawk. Goodbye, Snoopy. Snoop them. Yep. And Hex Mambo have not just a level or two. I mean, this is a significant lead. As the Oni Fury started up here, Stygian Beacon going to be back online in a moment. Inbound. Pulled in, ultimate used as well. Discordia Apple just to slow down the support. Who's going to be put in the ground. It's just a matter of who is going to claim the life of inbound. Give it to Kha'Zix, why not? Oh, yeah. And he, he, he's, he needed that kill, too. 2 and 5 Yeah, he, he, he needed that kill. Death Stock is rising. On the team, as are the carry and the mid laner there for X Mama. They'll pick up the Oni Fury and continue on their reign of dominance. And, and I mean, what do Gilded Gladiators have to do to get back into this game. I, I think, honestly, I, I'm looking at Scary D because Scary D has the, is the only one that we have. He's just been trying to farm up, and at this point, he is tanky enough to start asking some difficult questions. That might even start with <gasps> Hear Me on the Blink here. Ooh, who unfortunately is going to be stymied there by Maui. Throwing out that fish. Spudio teleports away. So a burned Sir Ket ultimate thought for a second. And a blink. Was going to catch it out there. 
But, you know, you talk about Scary D, who's now made the rotation over to this left-hand side. Same thing kind of goes for Julio, though, right? We haven't really seen Julio in these engagements. And as soon as Scary starts rotating, King Arthur starts rotating, and then Stuart and Snoopy start having nightmares. No, surely. D don't blow up my spot like that. It's okay. got to be Scary D. It, right. ha it has to be Scary D, right? He is surely the savior of of this squad and it's not just going to be Julio. See Julio didn't rotate over, he stayed on this right side of the map to and start the Fire Giant. Right, absolutely. As the Fire Giant's gonna go down here for absolutely free to the Hex Mambo, the Gilded Gladiator scattered across the map. And so far their hopes of winning this game number one against the Hex Mambo are looking to be scattered to the wind. Yeah, they are uh, They are looking slim. This is looking like one that Hex, the Relic upgrades or the Starter upgrades, they're definitely at a disadvantage. But now we're at the point in the game where Snoopy said in the interview, this is where they prepared for. This is Hex Mambo's bread and butter. This is where the Gilded Gladiators have watched them succeed and said, hey, they really play through Johnny or they really play through Julio and we feel confident we're going to be able to shut that down. And so it has to be on them to identify where they want to funnel their focus and honestly, it might be this King Arthur once he starts to come to the team fights. You've got this Shred coming online from Stuart, still behind, but once once he gets to level 20, Spudio gets to level 20, you can't get farther behind. <laughs> that's, that's that's true. That's silver lining. Yeah, then it's only catching up from on then on. Yeah, it's only catching up. And so, yeah, it's going to be tough uh, on this siege, but it's only the unenhanced. So far, you still have your Phoenixes up at the moment. You just have to be ready to defend these larger pushes. It's Johnny and Scary D in the middle lane. Scary D. Taking the worst of it so far, auto attacks to the face. That hammer of Thor is doing it. As wow. Johnny's not quite done, Scary D forced into lurking the waters. But look on the left hand side. Meanwhile, the rest of the Hex Mambo forcing down this left hand lane. And Johnny straight up soloing the crocodile, beating out the pluck. And down goes Scary D, the hope of this Gilded Gladiators team, as you said, <laughs> Frog, as Hex Mambo. It's Hawk, Kha'Zix, Spudio. It's the entirety of the team on this left-hand Phoenix already seeing damage. No ultimate now, though, for Johnny, so that engage tool is going to be lost. But it's Johnny still in, just walking it. Boom! Hawk blows up inbound in the back line. Snoopy raining death from above and falling down. Stewart with an Aegis to delay the death for one moment, but it's Spudio with an auto attack from downtown to take out the enemy hunter. There's a double for the ADC. Cure me! Deathbane away under the fountain. It is one member, the jungler of the Gilded Gladiators, to delay this game one victory, and it will be for not. Kirmi jumps in the back line, Johnny gets out of there, and Hex Mambo, the SCC European powerhouse, taking out the SPL Gilded Gladiators. That is a rough game one from the Gladiators, and I'm sure it it's definitely brings all of the confidence that Hex Mambo have been feeling. They've gone undefeated so far against the SCC squads. They were confident in their meta. And sure enough, they bring that meta here to day number one, or to game number one against the SPL, and it looks fantastic. The Gilded Gladiators seem lost in that game completely. They go down early in the dual lane. They All of these ganks in the solo lane, that's where Kirmi tries to focus.